And now, News Channel 10's 24-7 local weather first alert forecast. Well, good Thursday afternoon, everyone. It has been a hot one out there today. At the time of recording, Amarillo has officially hit 102 degrees. Now, our Thursday record was set back on this day in 1999. Said 102 easily blows away that record. So the next big number we're watching for is our all-time September high, the hottest temperature Amarillo has seen in the month of September. Now, that was currently set back on September 5th of 1995. That was 103 degrees, so only a degree below that. I don't think it's out of reason that we're going to hit that number. We're going to watch it very closely, but as of about 3.30 in the afternoon, haven't hit it just quite yet. Let's take a look at those highs around the region. Like I said at the time of recording, 105 already in Borger. That's a record high as well. I know Dalhart setting some record highs as well, but most of the region getting very close to or into that triple digit range. Unfortunately, it's just nasty hot out there. We're seeing a heat advisory until Thursday evening. That's going to stick around basically as long as the sun is up. We're going to be seeing a heat advisory. That's for those temperatures realistically up around that 105 degree mark. Now we have those west southwesterly winds. You're going to see them start to kind of relax a little bit by 9 o'clock this afternoon, but you'll kind of start to notice that the winds start to take this little bit of a turn going into tonight. That's very important when it comes to the rest of our forecast because most of us will start to see those northerly winds going into tomorrow morning and consequently tomorrow afternoon as well. Well, that's a very weak cold front. It's going to try to cool our temperatures down a little bit, but we're still expecting 90s here for at least the next couple of days. So we'll drop down to 65 Thursday night into Friday morning. You'll see some 70s, 77 in Childress. That's pretty toasty out there. I want to say we're done with triple digit heat for the rest of the year. I can't guarantee it, but it does start to kind of point that direction for most of us. Now you will see 99 in Tule and Clarendon, 104 there in Childress. So still going to be pretty hot going into your Friday for most of the region, but we're starting to try and get somewhat of a kind of a cooling trend going. Now, here's the thing, rain and cooler temperatures, that is our next weather maker as that forecast is still holding steady. There's still a lot of things to be excited about here in the immediate forecast. So the heat is peaking today for your Thursday. We are going to see a general cooling trend for the next couple of days, but even better yet, that high pressure system starts to break down, move off towards the southwest, brings in northwesterly flow and little disturbances in that northwest flow will start to kick up some shower and thunderstorm chances going into the weekend and throughout next week. Also, maybe a cold front as well that will start to drop those temperatures down just a little bit. So looking at a rainfall forecast here, Hard not to get too excited about this. I mean, as you can see right here, looking at our forecast, this is for the next seven days as a whole, so it's not going to all fall at once, but you'll be shocked at how much of it is expected to fall at once. But you'll see right here, two and a half to three inches possible. Parts of the area could be seeing some soaking rain with light thunderstorm activity here across, like I said, the next seven days. So let's break it down piece by piece here. Saturday could start to see some rain falling up in the northern half of the area, Sunday and Monday. And really start to see those gaps fill in just a little bit Tuesday and Wednesday right there. More soaking rain expected across much of the region. So let's look at our seven day supercast here. 96 for your Friday, 94 by Saturday, 20% chance of overnight showers and storms. But look at every day after that. It is hard not to get excited about this kind of outlook here. 92, 91, 75, 74 and 75 degrees going into late next week with 40 to 50% chance of widespread showers and thunderstorms. We're going to continue to monitor this here at News Channel 10 be giving you the latest everything you need to know as we get one step closer because it's easy to get excited about that kind of outlook. If things hold steady, we've got a lot to look forward to. Keep it locked here to News Channel 10 for the latest on your local forecast.